I'm testing things out because I am going live here on both platforms. I'm going to be doing a Instagram live and a Facebook live about my computer and my camera going um, because I just want to really just like channel and, and speak to what's really coming through me right now because there's some big stuff that I'm feeling as a collective consciousness that needs to be talked about. This year of 2020 is getting off to a crazy, crazy start right now, right? And if you are like anyone that I have talked to, it probably feels like, what the fuck is going on, <laughs> right? And this is like, there's so much external world, like just drama and craziness going on. And a lot of times for a lot of people coming into this year too, on the internal, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on and happening as well. Give me a thumbs up or a like if you're feeling like, this is you right now. If there's just like crazy inner turmoil going on or crazy external turmoil going on that you're feeling affected by. And the thing that just like keeps coming into my mind is this vision of like in tarot cards, one of the tarot cards is called the tower. And I really imagine it as being like this tower where it literally shows like lightning storms in the background and like people falling off the edge of the tower and like ocean storms below and this tower is literally crumbling and that's the feeling that i'm connecting into and sensing with so many people right now is like it feels like this tower is just like crumbling and all the stuff in the external world is just like right so this is my message to each of you if you're feeling this way because it's so easy to get swept up into that and go like oh my god like when am i going to catch a break when can i just get some peace and some calm I want to really speak to you and say, babe, like the peace and calm is coming always from within you. And I know that, you know, that all sounds nice and good to hear that, but to truly actually connect into what that means and what that feels like is a very, very different kind of thing, right? So the universe is testing us all right now. This is a, is a period of massive, massive expansion and, um, collective consciousness awakening right now. And it's really testing each one of us in how we choose to respond in these moments of complete and utter chaos. When we are feeling like our external world is completely falling apart around us, it's an opportunity for us to say, okay, I surrender. I truly, truly surrender and come back into the calm and peace within myself right? Because it's a lot easier to kind of just like keep doing the thing we do, keep going out and like operating in our old patterns and our old conditionings when life on the external is fine, right? But how do we really show up when life just feels like it's all over the place? That's what's really coming through for so many of us right now. In these moments, we are truly being tested when really there is nothing that we are per se doing wrong but we're being challenged to really take this time to reflect and ask ourselves, what can I continue to do to shift the energetic vibration deeper within me? Because our external reality so much is a reflection of our internal reality. And although we may not be able to deal and, and manage the, the, the full on external world of like the coronavirus and the politics and all that crazy stuff, like what we can control is in our current world and our little bubble that we create in our life that is within our control oops got my battery there um <clears throat> what we can control is on our internal and we can have massive shifts even when the external world feels like it's getting all out of whack we can control how we feel on the inside so this is a moment right now i just want to like give all of us just this space to just take a second to really breathe to breathe and to reground and to recenter, right? Because the first thing that we do is our mind and our ego comes into play and it starts trying to take on control and say, okay, the external world feels like it's going crazy. So I'm just gonna try and like overthink the crap out of this to try and get myself back into feeling in control. And that's not ever gonna work because what it does is it just keeps us in our mind. And you can tell when you're in your mind because you start getting like short of breath and you start feeling like, oh God, oh God, right? And so your mind keeps going and going and going, trying to calm yourself down, but that will never work. It will just keep you in this like negative downward spiral. So right here in this moment, if you ever start feeling like you're getting too caught up in the anxiousness, too caught up in the, the, the anxiety, the, the mental chatter, just take a second to just literally come back down to your breath. 
And I want you to like truly imagine yourself just taking a big, deep breath. We are given these beautiful, beautiful tools in our body called lungs. And they're more than just to bring oxygen to our cells. They are actually here as calming mechanisms. And they do wonders for taking you out of your head and into your heart. So anytime you're feeling in these moments that life is feeling out of control, or this is your go-to, this is your tool, <sighs> coming back into your heart. And once you've been able to really start to just breathe and just focus on that place of calm in your breath, then you can really come back to the truth of what the situation is. Whatever that situation is that's challenging you, that's making you feel tense and tight, and literally use that power and that tool to expand out the tightness, expand out the tension, and say, I choose to believe that this is all just an illusion, that this is all not real, and that I get to actually take back my power in this moment, right? What is that deeper fear that's lurking there, right underneath where you breathe, right? It's like, you stay up here and then you come into the breath and then you're literally having access to that deeper fear that's hiding underneath the surface. And when you can come into that, into that deeper fear and say, what is this deeper fear here that's really truly triggering me in this moment to feel this way? That's when you get to take your power back. And this is so incredibly important. It's literally, I've been talking about it a lot. It's like slaying dragons. Like you have these dragons that are just like flying around this tower, right? And you're like, oh my God. And all of these things like just pebbles and rocks and, and parts of your foundation are just like crumbling. And you're like, oh my God, these dragons, they're taking over my life. When we can take a second to literally ground back down into our center, into the core, the core root of the tower, come down into it and come into that grounded, rooted space, then we can look out at those dragons and one by one decide, okay, it's time to slay each one of you, one by one. And you slay your dragons by the way that you actually choose to approach them. So if you decide like to let that dragon have that control over your life, then you are giving your power away to that dragon. But if from that grounded, centered place, you say, I'm ready to embrace this dragon, I'm ready to stare this fear, this dragon fear in the face and slay it once and for all, that's when you take back your power and that's when you ground back into your root, into that strength, into that stability and start creating an entirely new reality on your external, okay? Give me some thumbs up if this is making sense. I know I'm like using a lot of metaphors and stuff, but like this is really what I'm seeing is being such an important practice right now. It's like really standing and rooting into that power in our core center and then choosing and deciding to not let these fears take over and actually choosing to stare them in the face instead and say, no, I'm taking back my power right now. I'm taking back my control right now. And the way you do that is by honoring where you're at in your core center, knowing you are always strong, you are always stable, and then leaning into that fear, leaning into that tightness, leaning into that anxiousness that's trying to overwhelm you and expanding it out, literally expanding it out with your breath, with that beautiful tool that we are given in our bodies and choosing to say fear, you are no longer serving me. This is not a truth that I wanna believe anymore and I release you, okay? It's really, really, really powerful work. And the more that you do this, the more you'll notice you're shifting your energy in every little moment to take your power back and feel more empowered. And the more you feel empowered, the stronger your core is. And yes, your tower may be crumbling around you. Like the external things that used to give you that identity of you being strong may actually start coming down. But what you're doing is you're building back in a stronger power within you a stronger grounded new tower to stand in and to protect yourself in for the future. And I tell you, oh, it is the most beautiful, beautiful transformation that you could ever do for yourself. So that's what I want to leave you with today. Um, I hope this resonated for you. I hope this gave you just a little bit of just like mm, <laughs> a little power to your day because we all need it, right? We all need a little boost every once in a while. And I tell you, I've been doing a lot of slaying of my own dragons lately because I, 
I came into January of 2020 being like, this is the year to expand. I'm so ready to expand. And then all these old fears and limiting beliefs and things even for myself around keeping me in that limited space were actually coming to the surface. And I'm like, crap, now's my chance to slay these dragons once and for all. Like, I don't want to be limited or ruined by these stories any longer. Right? So it's a journey for all of us. And it's never... It's never an, it's a never ending journey, but it's, that's the fun of it, right? It's like, <laughs> I was talking about this with um, two of my girls on a, on a call the other day. I was saying, you know, it's like, we are literally in this video game and like, we just keep getting to level up and level up in these like journey of life. And it's, it's, we choose to be in this game. We choose to be in this journey because it's fun and it's enjoyable. And like, that is the fun of this. It's like, okay, seeing these resistances, seeing these challenges and these fears as opportunities to get to level up and like gain a gold coin or gain a little, you know, treasure chest or like all these fun things. So shifting our perspective and how we really look at fear and how we look at these challenges that we are faced with on a day-to-day -day basis and deciding a shift in mindset and being like, you know what, I actually really want this. I really am looking forward to this. This is the fun and the joy of life, right? So I wanna um, just end that on that note. And I also just wanna send out a big, big announcement because as you guys may or may not know, I have been working on something really, really exciting. As you know, I put out my podcast earlier this month or last month, and um, I've been also really taking some time to completely build out and download like the whole <laughs> the whole banana the whole banana of relax into love that i am calling the relax into love master course and i literally have spent so much time in front of this camera just recording all of the truths all of the wisdom all of the beautiful beautiful elements that i really see going into helping women to relax into love on their journey and breaking it out into a six, a six step process to literally say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna help you go from where you're at to where you wanna be. And I do that through the vector framework. And it's just been such a beautiful, beautiful unfolding to watch all of this content just pour out of me in this like, just very logical, realistic state, but also just bringing in so much beautiful energetics and law of attraction principles and just like, my own experience and knowledge from supporting women for so long and it is finally here and it is finally ready. So I'm like finally getting to share this with you guys firsthand today. Um, I will leave the link below and, um, and for Instagram, I will leave it in, the, in my bio so that you guys can take a look at it and, um, and enroll in it. I tell you, it is such magic and it is such truth and I just am so proud to be able to get to share this with each of you so if that's something you're interested in um, definitely check it out take a look at it and um, I want to just send so much love to each of you today as you are continuing to go out there and slay your dragons you know the world of personal development work is always just such an, an exciting and unfolding journey and um, I'm here right alongside of you and just cheering you on and just shining that beacon of light saying it's so worth it and it's so possible. And don't let any of those dragons tell you what you can and can't have for your life because it is all infinitely possible. And I am a living, breathing example of that every single day. So sending you so much love today. Mwah.